Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, smooth as ice, twice and ice, and I'm back with another video. So I was at work. I literally just got home. I was on my break checking my phone. Somebody sent me this video, and I'm like, oh yeah, more Julius Malema content? That's what y'all been asking for. So smash that like button. Y'all been forgetting to do that. I don't know why. We need at least 200 on this one, all right? Now the title reads, Julius Malema shocks the world, bruh. Russia, China, and Europe is threatened by African unity. Now, that title to me got my interest. So, we're going to check it out. Drop a like. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Yo, we've been going like crazy. I appreciate all the support. Let's get into this. They are threatened by African unity. Because the unity of African people will mean they are equal to China. They are equal to India. They are equal to Russia. They are equal to Britain. Mm, but an organization. I go lie, he cooking. He cooking with that one. I ain't want to pause it just yet, but he cooking. That wants to unify the whole of Africa, have one currency, have one parliament, have one president, and have one military command. That would be because insane. the reason we're fragmented like this. Just to think of that, bro. Like, not even on no political level. Just being on, being strategic. God damn, I can't get my words out. But you know, I'm one take Chico, so I ain't gonna cut nothing out. But just to be strategic with it, bro. Imagine if that happened for all the African countries. It became like one country. It's a continent, we know that. But it all became one country, one president. And they became like one army, but like bases. Now all the countries are different. You know what, boy? How can you lose, bruh? And then we got Madagascar right there. <laughs> they part of Africa too. <laughs> All right, let's keep watching though. And what defeated is because the enemy enjoys and thrives when we're divided. We are not a regional organization. We are an international organization. Mm. When we go everywhere in the continent, the people come out in their numbers to come and receive the message of the now US that's crazy and it's true because i just saw a clip when he pulled up to his liberia it was insane and i think namibia too i'm like bro julius got pulled all across africa bro what an international organization that's why when we sing kosi sikelele africa there where we say Moranaboloka, Lena, you say South Africa, and we insist yes, now we insist Africa. There's no South Africa in Nkosi mm. that we see. There's Africa. Because there is no place called South Africa. South Africa is a geographical concept which seeks to give you direction. <laughs> it's <laughs> not oh, a always like it ain't nothing too deep but i always thought about that like bruh why south africa get the name south africa bruh like all these other ca uh, like countries have these names bruh and then i get you know the like go to zambia too other countries nearby and then it's like this northern rhodesia southern rhodesia thing that was back then now it's been changed to this so it's like but why them why was it that and julius is He's answering that right now, easily. Name of a place. We are in Africa. So once you say Africa, you don't have to add anything before. You have <laughs> covered everything. For including real though. this side of the south of Africa. Right. Because we're an international organization. That's why the logo of the EFF has got no South African map. Mm. It has got African men right there because we're an organization that wants to unify the whole of Africa, have one currency, have one parliament, have one president, and have one military. The thing is, Julius got that vision, and EFF has that vision. But you guys are not even in power yet. And yeah, I get it when you become in power. But are all these other countries going to accept too? Me, personally, I think it's a good idea. But other people would think not. And I got to respect that. And they got to respect my opinion too, you feel me?
command. Because the reason we are fragmented like this and we are defeated is because the enemy enjoys and thrives when we are divided. Oh, yeah. They say to you, he says, remove borders. Remo Why is he saying remove borders? He wants these people to come here. He wants these people to come here. There are no borders mm. in Europe. The people who say to you, why do you want to remove borders? They don't have borders. <laughs> and we have not seen, no cap. because of borderless Europe, we have not seen the people of Italy moving to Britain. Mm. Because I mean, the pound is stronger. People move wherever they want to, bro. Where, it don't matter what, like, it, it don't matter what, what they're going to have over there or not. If people want to go, let's say, to China, they're going to go to China, bro. They want to go to South Africa, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? So Let's go to Britain. Everybody just not Europe. all going to no. go to one place because of this. They've always yeah, stayed like, where they are. You know? But they can eat breakfast in Italy and have lunch in Britain and have dinner in Spain without any hassle. Why? They are one people. They are enjoying each other. They embrace one another. But we must not do that. Once we do that, Malema says people must come here. They are going to take your jobs and all of that. <laughs> Why are you allowing that? I remember. I think I reacted to that when I came it's out. It's not true. In Lesotho, there is no fence between free state and Lesotho. The people of Lesotho, what is the day today? Sunday. Shem, they are in free state now as we speak. Ah, poos. <laughs> Around five, six. They getting lit. Paso Pinda. Go back to Lesotho. There's no problem. They are together. They are one thing. So why didn't they move from Lesotho into free state? Before even Malema existed and the EFF existed because... There's never been a fence. There's no fence. Mashaba showed you. He went to Limpopo and said, yeah, look, look. There's no fence here between Zimbabwe and Limpopo. But when you go into Zimbabwe, there are still people there in Zimbabwe. They are staying there. Yet Mashaba confirmed that there is no fence. Mm. And without fence, these people are going to come here. Malema says they must come <laughs> here. There's no fence. Why are they not coming now? There's no fence. I said to you, mark that, we are led by fools. <laughs> because there is no fence, but what? there is a gate. He be... We hear you, bro. <laughs> fools. Wait, what? There's no fence, but there's a gate. <laughs> when you go home today, you arrive at your home from this meeting, you just find the fence is gone. <laughs> Only the gate is standing alone like this. And then, what do you do? Without fence, you still open the gate. <laughs> hey, we're in a state of madness. Why, if these borders mean nothing, why are they opposed to them? Cooking. They are threatened is by African unity. Talk because the unity of African people will mean they are equal to China, they are equal to India, they are equal to Russia, they are equal to Britain. How can Swaziland tell Britain anything with that size of a population? <laughs> Don't listen to them. But once we come together... <laughs> Why he had to just throw them under the bus like that? He said, when y'all tell them... Anything they just gonna look at you. Y'all some little boys, man. Look at y'all. It's like five of y'all. It's like twenty thousand of us. We're belt. <laughs> okay, in my head, that's basically what he just said. He just downplayed them, you know. That, that, okay, but yeah. We are billions of people who can confront the status quo globally. So don't listen to the nonsense that says these people are going to come here, they are going to take our jobs and all of that. Anyway, these people have been here. The economy of South Africa that was established 
by Rhodes, Cecil John Rhodes, established the economy and the economic system of South Africa using. So you think you know which? This thing, do you bro. really? First up, we've got Shake Sorry. Video. I know South some of y'all, I tried my best not to use the N-word, but bruh, if you were around the people I'm around every day, you would, you would, you know, use it sometimes too. <laughs> Southern Africa. There's no nation that has not contributed in the gold and diamonds which made what South Africa is today. Oh yeah, facts. That's why there is a language called Fanaka law. That language did not come from the EFF. We found it. Why? Africans found themselves together and had to develop a language which will make it easy for them to communicate as colleagues. Mm. They've been here. So there's no one and They've never been here with their families. They are here to work, and then when they are off, they go back to their families. No one will ever overburden your health system because these people are not here. They are searching for greener pastures. They are going back. If you follow the logic that says people move to areas where there is, there is richness, Mm. And that area is more richer than where you come from. Then let's look at Limpopo. Limpopo is extremely poor compared to Haute. Right. There is no border between Limpopo and Haute. There is no fence. Mm. But the people of Limpopo never There's moved no, from no Limpopo. To go and settle in Gauteng because Gauteng is more richer than Limpopo. So, if this logic that Nigerians are going to move from Nigeria to here because they are looking for the richness here, why are the people of Limpopo not being the first ones right. to move into Gauteng to go and look for those richness? I was just talking about that earlier, bro. Like, for real, that was kind of like the fact that the media tried to crucify him and try to spin it like that is just wow. Like, you see it when they do it to certain, like, but when you see it even in 4K and you don't, you know, agree or nothing, it's like, damn, what? So, do not follow the logic that doesn't work because it's I aim just reacted to this, is to keep us divided Two and control ago. the whole of Africa. He cooked. What he you cooked. Think he cooked. He cooked with this one, bro. He cooked. I'm talking. Julius was spin, bro. And I couldn't even. Usually, I would pause and talk more, but it's like, imagine, bro, the whole of Africa coming together as one, one president, and then maybe the presidents from different countries be like the, the ones on like the, the board or some shit that like. <laughs> That decide who becomes president, you know what I mean? Or they get they're the ones who get to vote or something after people vote them into power from the different like states which were the previous countries. Man, what is up? But I wonder how it would work and if they would even agree without it. Drop a like, subscribe, man.